this time, I would like to present my colleague, Dr. Hugh de Brule, Associate Professor of History and the President of the Faculty Senate, who will offer remarks on this occasion on behalf of the St. Anselm faculty. Please welcome Professor de Brule. Dr. DeSalvo, distinguished members of the platform, my colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Upon recovering from the shock of having been asked to speak on this occasion, I was struck by panic. What was I going to say for two minutes? <laughs> My first thought consisted of quoting Emil Faber, the founder of the fictitious Faber College and Animal House, which is, of course, knowledge is good. <laughs> Although we know knowledge is good, we must strive as hard as ever to convince the world that the knowledge we possess, grounded as it is in a Catholic, Benedictine, liberal arts tradition is indeed good. Dr. DeSalvo arrives at a critical time in our college's history. Higher education in general and liberal arts colleges in particular face a number of grave challenges, challenges that very well might verge on the existential. The issues discussed at the academic symposium on Wednesday are only a portion of the many difficulties confronting the liberal arts today. For the last several years, the college has witnessed a number of extremely important changes as it attempts to reposition itself and meet these challenges in the present as well as the future. Among other things, we have remodeled college governance, sketched the outlines of a new curriculum, and experienced turnover among most of the important positions in the administration. The work associated with these developments has been arduous, and to be honest, we don't or we have not fully grasped the implications of those changes. In the coming years, there will be a great reckoning, a great working out of solutions, and with any luck, a great consolidation of the college's position. We think, we believe, and we hope that we have found a president who possesses the judgment, the decisiveness, and the grace to lead us in these tasks. On behalf of the over 200 faculty members who teach here then, I would like to welcome Dr. DeSalvo and his family to St. Anselm College. We look forward to forming a partnership with him as we work together during these exciting times. Thank you.